Hey, 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 my wonderful Virgos. How are you guys doing today? Welcome to my channel. If you are a new subscriber, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. We're doing the wonderful signs of Virgos today. Your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus. I just want to remind you guys that energy is fluid. So if you're cross-watching, I can say this is Virgos energy, but if it's more like your energy, so feel free to swap the energies where they fit, okay? You take what you need and you leave what you do not, all right? So obviously it's the holiday season okay thanksgiving is in like two days so we're gonna tap into your general energy because i didn't get a chance to post your video last week so we're playing catch up this week okay my wonderful wonderful virgos uh before we jump into your reading however I do want to remind you guys that I go live on Fridays at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I do answer questions so you guys can come on in and join us. I also want to let you guys know um, that my podcast is available for you guys to stream. So you can go ahead and find all the links in the description box below. And because it is the holiday season, okay, I am offering everyone... Um, half an hour coaching sessions with me slash intuitive reading. So it's a combined coaching session and an intuitive reading uh, for fifty dollars. So if you guys want to go ahead, you can find all of the information in the description box below where you can email me. It is the same spelling as my channel at gmail.com. So it's for your invoice at gmail.com. Just scroll on down in the description box below and you can see where you can find your donation and then um, you can get a calendar link to get you in the calendar. Also, major shout out to all of my contest winners. You guys can also win a contest. You can win a free reading and coaching session. So check out the information in the description box below. All right. My Shea Body Butter Bomb, okay, gift baskets are also available. You can hit me up if you want that also. So we're thanking our angels. We're thanking our guides. We're thanking our ancestors. We're thanking our higher self. We're thanking the divine masculine and feminine energy. We're thanking all of the energy and the atmosphere that is here to help guide, protect, encourage, motivate, and give us the strength to take action when it's time. All right, sorry, guys. i got to do that, like, in the first two minutes of the video because this is what I do for a living. I am a life coach and this is just a platform for me to share uh, what I do. You know, I do have to take care of me and my two babies, my love. This is, you know, entrepreneurship over here. Okay, my love. So with that being said, what do we have for Virgos? You guys got the Eclipse in Sagittarius, which is all about growth. Then you got the Sun in Scorpio, which is all about passion. And then you got the moon in Scorpio, which is all about um, transformation, right? So first of all, let me just say, Virgos, this is a lot of intuitive energy. And then you have majority of this energy is water energy, which is also emotional energy, okay? With the eclipse being in Sagittarius, let me just let you know that this is a master number 33 here. Powerful, powerful number. With the, with the um, eclipse in um, Sagittarius, my love, there's success after you set, um, success after setbacks, okay? So you have to see everything as a growth process. So everything you've been through, consider it to be a growth process, right? With the sun um, in Scorpio, this is very um, passionate and intense energy. It's also kind of mysterious phase in your life where some of you, you may not quite understand everything. We're going to get into that uh, and figure out exactly where the passion is coming from where this intense energy is leading to and if we can find out exactly what mysteriously is happening that you may not be aware of Virgos right the moon in Scorpio this is all about the change in your emotional life this is where that that helps the growth to come into place okay now we're going to clarify Sagittarius we're going to clarify the eclipse of Sagittarius the sun in Scorpio and the moon in Scorpio for my wonderful Virgos. What do you want Virgos to know about your growth, passion, and transformation? Okay, when it comes to your growth, you have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So you could have been feeling lazy or being stuck. And it's saying just know that you're about to recover from all of that. Okay? Now, or some of you are um, feeling very, like, um, stuck and maybe a, a bit lazy and feeling like you're afraid of, you're afraid of, the, um, of being, you know, you're afraid of all of the fuckery and the ruin. You're just afraid of what's about to unfold because you don't feel like you've been stabbed in the back so many times. You're just afraid of what the fuck is next, right? Um, but you can also flip this energy if you're on the growth side, okay? On the growth side, what this is saying, yeah, you may feel stuck and like shit wasn't moving, um, uh, and nothing was manifesting, but with this, um, with this 10, with this 10 of, um, 
swords, okay, especially, yeah. Yep, some of you are feeling like you stuck. You definitely feeling like you're stuck and there's some conflict going on as far as your passion is concerned. And some of you may be having a bit of some insecurity or somebody may have fell from grace, especially when it comes to your passion. There could be some type of conflict going on um, either within or maybe even romantically, my wonderful, wonderful Virgos. Yeah. Clarifying this transformation, you have the two of wands in reverse. That's intuitive energy. And wands in re the two of wands in reverse is like no future planning. And there could be some type of manipulation going on here. Okay. So we're going to get into that. So overall, there's some growth happening. Okay. Because you've been, you're going through some type of betrayal energy or some type of shit that made you feel like somebody maybe betrayed you or you betrayed somebody Virgo and this caused some type of setback especially with this Knight of Pentacles energy this is all about being methodical in your routine so this could have caused some type of setback in how you move okay this maybe could even change have a setback in how you make money okay or in your living situation okay there's definitely some conflict somebody fell from grace or somebody's feeling a little insecure and you got a lot of intuitive energy on this board right now. Okay, so just be mindful about that. So let's see the energy that you're interacting with and what they got going on. Y'all have to excuse the noise. I'm recording downstairs um, right next to the kitchen. So the kids are trying to be as quiet as they can as they're going into the refrigerator. But apparently I still hear him okay so what energy is virgo interacting with clarify this energy to virgo oh okay yeah you were interacting with some deceitful energy huh somebody ready to release though yeah they ready to do yeah somebody's ready to release um uh, like move forward in their thinking and shit because they they know that you they know they fell from your grace they know they did they know they betrayed you and they took advantage of you mm -hmm. look they know they did not put in the work that was needed you got the the seven of wands clarified by the the nine of cups in reverse they know they did not put in the work that they needed to do that they needed to put in especially when it came to this passion um, whatever they need to, to, yeah, clarifying the Scorpio, this passion and all that passionate energy they were supposed to be putting towards, you know, whatever you guys were trying to accumulate together, they were not doing that. This person is also sitting up in the high priestess energy, which is intuitive energy or going within to look at themselves. So they're definitely in contemplation. Okay. Um, here, uh, this is this, this, the, uh, four of swords in reverse, right? So they could be feeling, um, you know, they could be feeling like they missed something, you know, they could be feeling like they missed something. I don't know. The only thing is Virgo is like, they could be feeling like they missed something, but there's still manipulative energy going on here, Virgo. Or it's asking you with this magician in reverse for you to be able to um, um, trust, you know, your inner self and take that risk. Okay. They got the tower card. So there's definitely some type of change happening. And this change could be happening towards the money or the finances man, uh, manifestation with you. Um, somebody could have ended this relationship because some type of lie. Okay. Or this could have been some something that was repeated. Because you see, this could have been something that they repeatedly done. Okay. And I say that because all of these ten swords. So this is like repeat. Okay. And all of their repeat bullshit have put you into a place where you cannot grow from this shit. You don't have to stay stuck in this energy, Virgos. This person clearly know they didn't put in the work. They clearly know that. Intuitively, intuitively, they know that shit has ended. Intuitively, they know shit is not going to be the same. 
because it kind of feels like even like emotionally Virgos is like you may have already detached yourself. Let me see. Give me Virgos energy. Give me Virgos energy. Give me Virgos energy. Yep. Yep. You ready? Up. Oh. Mm -hmm. You ready to recover? Like somebody's ready to recover, or somebody's just afraid of that. You know. And it's interesting because it kind of feels like Virgo, you're done and you're ready to move forward, right? And it kind of feels like you're very sharp with your tongue doing that too. You're very sharp with your tongue as you do that. With this King of Swords energy, this could be very uh, manipulative uh, or aggressive energy. And this could be something around money too. They could have fucked with your money. They could have fucked with your money. It just kind of feels like you just done. Okay, you got the nine of wands energy. Look, he look all beat up. See how he got that, that band-aid over his head and he got to hold on to that extra wand right there just to hold himself up, honey. Yeah, baby, look at this. Yeah, you tired. It's kind of like, mmm... Yeah, like you tested my ass and you didn't put in the work. Yeah, I, sh I did not get a return on my investment. I did not get a return on my investment. Like here, you got the six of um, cups in reverse. This could be just jealous um, uh, energy. Um, could be a little bit moody about how you do shit too. And I can see the moodiness because you were like, you promised me a happy fucking home. And that shit did not, mm -mm, that did not pan out. Yeah, you left my ass tied over here. That did not pan out. That did not pan out at all, hunty. That did not pan out at all. You, yeah, you done. You got the page of one. This person over here could have been like a free spirit when they wasn't supposed to be no free spirit. This person could have had a very, um, I keep hearing a wandering eye. Yeah. Yeah. See, look at this. The, the Ace of Cups in reverse. This person's emotions are blocked. And they could have been blocked because you were busy giving your emotions to someone else. They were not wanting to take a look at themselves in this relationship to see what they were doing. They were not. I just kind of feel like you just gone. You just gone. Yeah. Bottom of the deck for them is the Queen of Pentacles. Which means that they're... Either the home or your work. This is either a home or work situation. Okay. Um, and this person know their shit is yet. Uh huh. Look at this. A little depression going on. Feeling a little hopeless here. Okay. They're feeling a little hopeless here. Yeah, because you you pretty much like I'm not being unrealistic about this shit no more. You tested me over here. I do not see a return on my investments. That's what you're saying, Virgo. I do not see a return on my investment. No, 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 no. Don't come over here checking my temperature to see how I'm doing. You're not even checking yourself is what you're saying right about now. I did not see a return on my investment and I'm just about done. I'm just about done. Yeah. Bottom of the deck for you. Eight of Cups. You're walking away from something in Queen of Cups. See? I kind of feel like you walking away from something and you giving them the business with your mouth. Ooh, baby, you giving them the business with your mouth. But what this is saying here, it wants you to pay attention to this moon and Scorpio energy because you're going through transformation. You're going through transformation. And it's kind of, kind of feels like you're taking your power back. You're taking your power back. Bottom of the deck, this is supposed to be all about um, generosity and gratitude. So you are definitely questioning what that looks like when it comes to do with love. Because apparently, shit, you got you got the lovers card in reverse. And this is Gemini energy, right? So you could be dealing with the Gemini. You could be dealing with a Scorpio here. You could also be dealing with the um uh 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 Sagittarius. Magician, I think the magician card is the magician called Uranus or is it Mercury? I don't remember. 
I'm not at my desk, so I can't look it up. See? I think I do have. Yeah, I'm going to have to pull it up and see. Um, yeah, something is unstable. You not you, you don't want to be so generous anymore because shit is out of balance. Shit is out of balance. You ready to walk away and you may be um, handling this um, maybe not so emotionally intact. Or if you are handling it emotionally intact, you're very cold about how you're doing things emotionally. This person don't feel your warmth at all. Somebody could be emotionally cold um, or very insensitive when they speak their truth. Okay, they not really care how you feel. Like, they speaking their truth and fuck how you feel. That's the energy I'm getting from this. Fuck how you feel. Okay, you don't play too much games and you're still not ready to look at your shit. You don't play too much games, then you're still not ready to look at your shit. Okay, let me know what my wonderful Virgos need for healing. Let me know what my wonderful Virgos need for healing. Let me know what my wonderful Virgos need for healing. What my wonderful Virgos need for healing. Let me know what my wonderful Virgos need for healing. Hmm. Self-love, Virgo. Self-love. Okay procrastination don't give to everybody else and don't give to yourself okay get out your own way what you procrastinating for okay what you procrastinating for and a child want to come out go look within yourself to see what you're missing don't seek outside of yourself for that shit when you seek outside of yourself for, for um when you seek outside of yourselves for someone else to fill you that is going to be short-lived Okay, keep that in mind. If someone does not genuinely want to make a change or genuinely want to do something for you, it's going to be short-lived. They'll do that shit for a little while, and then when they get sick of doing that shit, they'll stop. Okay? They'll stop. So just be mindful about that. All right? All right, know that personal issues are coming to a resolution. Okay? Especially if you're employing self-love. Okay? As you procrastinate or stop procrastinating, that energy is gaining momentum. Procrastination is a portion of fear, okay? So you need to decide fear or love, which one you're going to live in, okay? So do that. Whatever you're giving energy to, it is getting momentum. So if you're doing giving negative shit, uh, your energy, that is what's gaining momentum. If you're giving positive stuff, your energy, that is what's gaining momentum, okay? When it comes to your inner child, please know that you are to hold on to your inner vision. Go back to your play, playful self. Look within. What makes you happy? What do you enjoy doing? Go back to a place within yourself, right, that makes you feel happy and fulfilled, okay? Do that, all right? Okay. All right, my wonderful Virgos, uh, this is your reading. I hope this was helpful. Make sure that you guys come on in and join us on Friday on the live where we do answer questions, okay? Uh, thank you guys so much for subscribing. I appreciate each and every one of you. Check out the Daily Vibrations. They're posted at 12.15 a.m. every day, okay? So you can check those out. Also, make sure you check out my podcast. The links are in the description box below. Um... Also, check out how you can win a free reading, okay? So, donations of any amount are welcome. You get pulled into the raffle, and you get selected to um, win a free reading slash coaching session with me. So, major shout-out to all of my winners so far. And my loves, I also want to let you guys know once again, I got the holiday special for love and career readings, okay? $50 off for a um, $50 for a 30-minute intuitive coaching reading session with me. So you guys can go ahead and email me at the number four your inner voice at gmail.com. The same way the channel is spelled, it's the same way my email address is, and that is at gmail.com. Okay, my loves, I appreciate each and every one of you. You know the deal. Make sure you, that you do something kind for yourself. Make sure that you love yourself. Make sure that you honor yourself. Because what you don't give to yourself, you can't really give to someone else. Okay? Love you guys much. And I will see you guys in your next individuals or in the dailies tomorrow. Bye, my loves.